So the next plot that we are going to discuss is a box plot. A box plot is a standardized way of displaying the distribution of data based on a five number summary, which we did in statistics. The minimum value, the first quartile value, the median, the third quartile and the maximum value. It can tell you about your outliers as well and what their values are. It can also tell you if your data is symmetrical, how tightly your data is grouped and if and how your data is skewed. A box plot looks like this. This is the image. I have taken it from a very good blog. I'll share the link of the blog in the video description. So this is a box plot on your screen. Uh, there are quite a few components over here. So we'll just quickly see them one by one. Uh, this is the minimum value. Okay. And this is the maximum value. Uh, this pink uh, area is signifying the interquartile range, which is nothing but the difference between the 75th percentile minus the 25th percentile. This yellow line is the median value. Uh, in the box plot, you call these blue lines as whiskers because they resemble a cat's whisker. Uh, what about the, uh, these green values? Uh, they are known as outliers or they are considered to be outliers, which are having values much less than the minimum value or higher than or much higher than the maximum value. And this is the formula to calculate the minimum and the maximum value Q1 minus 1.5 multiplied by IQR. And over here, the formula for maximum is Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. Okay. So this is what a box plot is. Uh, to be honest, if you think clearly, it's pretty much similar to a PDF probability density function. In fact, I'll show you a comparison uh, using one more image. So this is the uh, box plot. And this is in fact, I'll zoom out. Yeah. So yeah, you can just see it side by side. Yeah. So this is a PDF of a normal distribution. And this is the box plot. You can see uh, for a normal distribution, uh, the box that interquartile range is directly in the center. And uh, these are the values. Basically, uh, the PDF gives you the probability of a number taking a particular value. Uh, it gives you an idea about the centrality of the data, but the box plot gives you the idea of those five number uh, summary, minimum, maximum, and all the quartile values. Okay. So it's very much similar to a PDF. Uh, I hope this idea is clear. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, use Seaborn to plot uh, a box plot. Okay. Now see box plot is basically a distribution plot and it should be plotted on top of a normal, I'm sorry, on top of a numerical data. That is how it should be used. But you can also use box plot to draw comparison between two categorical variables. Okay. So I'll show you both the perspectives. The first one is when you are using only one piece of data, that is a numerical data and you're going to do a univariate analysis. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll write SNS dot box plot and we'll simply pass the numerical column. So in this case, we are passing uh, the tip column of the tips data frame. And this is it. If you run this, you get a nice little box plot, uh, which gives you a distribution of tip. Okay. So this is the minimum value. Uh, the maximum value is somewhere around here. And all of these values are considered to be uh, outliers. Okay. And this is the uh, interquartile range. So you can also do it on total bill. So this is a box plot on total bill. Now let's do a multivariate analysis where we'll analyze uh, the box plot on total bill uh, with respect to the number of days, not the number of days, the different days. So what we'll do is this time around, we'll use the cat plot SNS dot. We could have used the box plot as well, since we are using a figure level function. So we are going to use cat plot on the X axis. I'll pass day on the Y axis. I'll pass total bill. And then I'll pass the kind parameter and I'll set it to be equal to box. And then we'll pass our data, which is equal to tips. And this is the code. Now you have, you can see that I have plotted, you know, side by side box plots for all of the categories. That is one box plot for Thursday, one box plot for Friday 
and two other box plots for Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so uh, you can totally see how this is helpful, right? First, we were getting an entire overview of the numerical data, but now I can have a uh, you know perspective of uh, the numerical data on the basis of every category. Okay, you can actually you know uh, scale this idea, and you can add a hue parameter to get a deeper insight into the data. You can write SNS dot cat plot. You will pass your x value, which is um, day. You'll pass your y value, which is total bill. And let's say we are going to add a hue parameter of let's say sex. We want to see the distribution on the basis of sex. And then the kind parameter will be given, which will be set to box. And in the last part will just provide the name of the data frame. And now you can see the power of uh, Seaborn. You are having box plot on a numerical data mm -hmm. that is total bill on the basis of categories on the basis of one more category that is sex. Okay, so people use it a lot to get that five number summary out of the data. And I also think you should uh, try and use box plot. It's a very important piece of information. Okay, so I hope the idea was clear. If so, we'll meet in the next video when we learn violet plots. Thanks for watching.